right. So Amazon EC2 console adds verified provider label for public AMIs. So the idea is there can be anyone can put anything on the marketplace and to yeah. be able to have, well, I guess what comes up with any repository of code that you might use, unfortunately, uh, part of human nature is that someone might put something in there that's, that's malicious. Um, so what does verified provider look like? Basically this. So if, if you look at, well, hopefully the Amazon Linux is verified. Um, yeah. But then we got Mac OS is verified. This is the front page. Red Hat's verified. So the idea is that if you see some AMI that you've, you've heard about, uh, like say you're, you're copying an AMI ID from a tutorial, how do you know that that AMI doesn't have some rogue bit of code in it that you don't want to be using? Well, you can look at this. Um, you can look for the verified provider stamp. So yeah. Raul, what are your thoughts on this one? So I think the intention is exactly what you just stated, which is to make sure that there isn't rogue stuff in there. I think here, Amazon kind of fell a little short. Um, if you look at buying stuff on Amazon.com, they actually have reviews and stuff for that particular item, not just the vendor. And I think that's what is missing over here. You can have a certified vendor, but it says nothing really about the content that they have actually put out. So for example, if there's an AMI that somebody created, let's say Red Hat created or someone else created, there's nothing to say that that particular AMI does not have old libraries or you know security vulnerabilities that I don't know of. So I think the there are two things that are kind of really important. One is the verification has to happen at the AMI level, not just at the vendor level. And the second one is that there has to be an expiry to that verification, right? Because there are always new security vulnerabilities that are coming up. There are always new, you know, threats that show up against old systems that, yeah, for that particular time point, point in time, they were all valid. But yeah, new new insights from new threats could invalidate an existing AMI in particular. It doesn't invalidate the vendor. The vendor is still a good vendor. But what you care really about is that specific AMI. Yeah, that, and so a, I don't think it's really helped that much. That, that's a really good point. Um, and I can see the, the benefit of, like you said, verifying the vendor is one level, but then beyond the vendor, it's, it's kind of an all or nothing. Do you trust every last piece of code that Red Hat's ever put out ever and even from five years ago to, to, to still be up with security or not? Yeah. So the and quality the, is, is yeah. basically point in time. Correct. And the quality is point in time. And that quality the value of that quality changes over a period of time. And if you just certify the vendor, someone might be fooled into thinking that they're actually picking the right AMI, which is, for from their perspective, certified by AWS, but it really isn't. It's only the vendor that is verified by AWS, and it says nothing really about the AMI content. So, yeah, I'm a little disappointed in this one because it's kind of a half-baked process for them. okay so our our takeaway from this one is all right you want to add in reviews and and things like is this still is the security still valid right if imagine yeah. a lamp stack from 10 years ago must have all sorts of unpatched vulnerabilities that have since been patched but the ami yeah. by design is is frozen in time correct i mean in my ideal world this this marketplace would look very much like the amazon.com dot com marketplace where you have the characteristics of the AMI. It tells you, you know, the bill of materials in it. It, uh, you know, just like you have the, the specifications on any object or any the thing that you buy on amazon.com. And then it has reviews. Let people comment about what they found hard or easy or what is missing in there or how to patch it up or like whatever instructions, because reading those reviews really do help. Uh, have the FAQ section like you have for your for the stuff that you sell on amazon.com. Like I think bringing that concept of the marketplace because their experience over there with those, with that selling is actually very similar to what you need over here. There's just such a massive selection right now of these AMIs. Nobody knows what the right one to pick is. So just by, by saying, here's a vendor 
who's validated says nothing about what you're actually picking. And especially like if you're just getting started, I can imagine as I've been in this position, you know, you're reading a tutorial, the tutorial might be a little bit dated. And part of that, that dated tutorial might reference an AMI that was great at the time, but has since been superseded. I mean, it's not going to vanish from, from the marketplace. It would just, yeah. and if now, if it has that vendor certified sticker, we might even get a false sense of security. Exactly. And I think that's a dangerous thing for customers to think that they are secure in picking a, a vendor verified AMI, I think is, would be a really dangerous thing potentially. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. Well, in that case, what's our, um, our final verdict on this announcement? Okay, so last week we basically decided that on every announcement that we discuss on this show, we are going to either decide it complicates life or it simplifies it. And I think in this case, given that it falls short of what it's really trying to do and it gives people a sense of false security, I would say it just complicates things. So I would, yeah. I don't know if I said too complicated, but it just complicates things over here. All right, so this, this is a beta. A, yeah. a beta of our rating system. All right, so we'll say complicated <laughs> things. All right, all right. So this, the, I, I, okay. So our our verdict is it's complicated because it could lead to a false sense of security because whether an AMI is good or not is really a question of at a point in time, and it could totally depend on your situation. It could be great for research, but don't ever make it public facing, Correct. right? So, yeah. Okay. Great. Well, I think we've got some breaking news we want to share. Let's do a quick transition and get into our breaking news.